Welcome to our tutorial on the boundary command. I'm going to start by activating the boundary tool. Under propagation type, we have four different options. Let's select complete boundary. Under surface edge, let's select this surface. Now click OK and we'll opt to keep all sub-elements OK. As a result, we have two continuous curves, right here and here. And if I, for example, need to only use this segment, I need to do the extra step of using the disassemble function. I'm going to cancel out of this for now. Right-click, select Delete, and click OK. Let's see how we can extract the boundary from this edge in a different way. Let's activate the boundary command. Instead of selecting complete boundary, I'll select point continuity. Now we'll click on this edge. And we now have one continuous line. That's not what I want, unfortunately. My next option is no propagation. Now I have a boundary extracted from this edge only. Another way to get the same results is to apply limits. Let's go back to point continuity. Under limit 1, I'll select this vertex. Let's click this arrow to change the direction. Under limit 2, I'll select this vertex. Now we have the same results. Let's cancel out of this and activate the boundary command again. This time, let's use the tangent continuity option and we'll select this edge. Once again, the boundary has been propagated all the way to this vertex and to this one. Let's right click and set the limit. Let's change the direction, right click, and set another limit, and click OK. The boundary line here is barely visible. What I usually do is right click and select Properties, and then adjust the thickness. OK. Now it's much more visible. Now, if I'm going to modify the sketch, the boundary line will follow the modifications. In this case, the boundary line changes because the tangency at this corner gets broken. Let's do this again. Select no propagation this time. And this edge. Now double click on the sketch. Let's do some modifications. Exit the sketch. You'll see that the boundary lines follow our modifications. Once again, you can right click, select properties, and adjust the thickness of your line. This will give you better visibility of your boundary line. This concludes the boundary command tutorial.